This product makes almost a million dollar a year and is completely bootstrapped. This product makes almost a million dollar a month and is only two years old. And this product, and this product, and this product, and this product, they're all killing it. But what do they have in common? Are they just all superior products? They are great products, but the reason they're exceptional is because they figured out how to blow up their user base and how to keep up momentum and growth continuously, month after month. This is not just luck, this is science. And fortunately, if we break down what these startups do well, we can reproduce it and achieve explosive results too. In this video, I will give you a roadmap containing three simple but mighty strategies for getting more users at every stage of your SaaS journey. We'll take a look at how to get the first 100 users and how to get the next 500 to 1000 users. And finally, we'll discover how successful SaaS platforms use these strategies to blow up and continue to grow their user base to new heights. Okay, okay, but let's just come back down to earth. How about we start by getting the first five and probably most important users on board? In order to get there, we need to get a basic understanding of what it actually means to acquire a user. A user acquisition simply means the act of gaining a new user for an app, a platform or an online service. Every user acquisition has the following. A method, a channel and a cost. And depending on the type of acquisitions we're going for, we need to plan these out. And as you can imagine, combining different forms of these three elements turns into a whole lot of different ways we can acquire a user, ranging from completely free acquisitions to paying a whole lot just to get one new user, and ways that require a ton of work and doesn't scale, and other ways that scale almost automatically without any additional effort. And this is exactly why we need a roadmap tailored to the different stages of your SaaS journey. Because some of these methods work really well in the very beginning and others are excellent for putting your SaaS into growth mode or even automation mode where users just keep coming in. But before we can get users, we need to use these elements to design a user acquisition model. And while these two elements are highly variable, at least we can put the method into four different types. Let's have a look. Essentially, all the different online marketing channels you can imagine fall into either one of these four methods. Incoming. This means that the user reaches out to you. They become aware of your product and they serve themselves to sign up or makes a request to your team to get in contact with them so they can get on board. Outgoing. This means that you reach out to the user. The initial contact is on your side. You initiate the conversation, you make a sale and you convert them into a paid user. Referrals. This happens when your current users will bring in new users, who will in turn bring in more new users. Advertising. This one is similar to the incoming method, but what's specific with advertisement is that you pay to get in front of the user and make them aware of your product that way. All right, let's get busy. We need to design two acquisition models that we want to use for the first stage of our roadmap. We want to get our first five early users on board, followed by getting the first 100 real users. For the first five users, we're gonna design a model that looks something like this. For the method, we're going to use outgoing, which means that we will reach out to the first batch of users and hopefully get five of them on board. The channel we'll be using is email or DMs on whatever messaging app you're using. And the cost is zero dollars, since we're gonna do this ourselves manually, one by one. The idea here is pretty simple. You're going to use your close network, family, friends, colleagues, partners, people you know personally, who you believe would benefit from your product. You will tell them that you're launching a product and that you have an MVP ready and that you're looking for the first few users to get on board. You will offer them a completely free account for life and all you will ask for in return is their feedback. Of course, not all users will naturally be a good fit, but if your product solves an actual problem for some of these early users, it should definitely be possible to get five of them on board. Once you have these first five users in place, make sure to include them all in a small community, either a Discord group, a Facebook group, a WhatsApp group, or whatever works for you. Before going on to the next step, you want to spend a bit of time with this handful of new users. Listen to their feedback, fix bugs, implement some features according to their wishes, and smoothen out some of the rough edges. Make sure to serve these users well. Let them have a big say in how the platform should work and which direction you should take. Remember how I said that these users are the most important ones? It'll be clear why in a moment, because what we're trying to do here is to make these users more than just users. We're turning them into advocates, and this is crucial for the next acquisition model we're going to design. This model will take us from five up to 100 users. For the method, we're going to use referrals, 
and the channel we're going to be using is referral links that our current early users can use. The cost of this model depends. You could offer your first users a cut of the revenue for every new users they refer, but in most cases, I actually don't think this is necessary. If you truly did a great job of serving your first five early adopters really well and really made them feel like they're part of this project, chances are they'll be happy to help refer new users without getting paid. So I would design this model with zero cost, but instead offer the new users a big discount for joining early and for making both your advocates and the new users feel a bit special for being part of something up and coming. This also greatly helps your advocates bring in new users since they now have a really good offer on their hand. Most early users would love to help. All right, time to get serious. We're now entering stage two of the roadmap. At this stage, we want to acquire 500 to 1,000 new users. None of our current acquisition models will work for this. It would be very hard to do zero cost cold emails and DMs at this scale to realistically get 500 to 1,000 users on board. We also can't expect to keep incentivizing new users to yet again refer new users at this scale. We need a completely new model for this. Let's design it. For the method, we're gonna use incoming which means that we will have users reach out to us or to sign up themselves by going to our website. In order for this to work at scale, we need to create awareness. And I know, and probably you know, that what I'm about to say is gonna make me sound like a completely broken record. Cause I've said this in so many of my videos already. The best way to create an acquisition model using the incoming method is by creating content and building in public. The channels we're gonna use are social media and search engines. Create long form video content to show up on YouTube search. Create blog posts to show up on Google. Create TikToks, Reels, and YouTube Shorts to catch people's attentions on the fly. Share updates on LinkedIn. Your highs and lows, new discoveries, new milestones. Share your lessons on Hacker News and Indie Hackers. And most importantly, keep doing it. This stage is long and hard. You're not gonna see results very fast but you need to keep going. This also means that this acquisition model is going to come with cost. You must expect to invest in good content and how much you're willing to pay for an acquisition entirely depends on the ARPU or average revenue per user your SaaS is generating. There's gonna be long stretches where your content won't get much engagement, let alone result in conversions. So you need to closely monitor and optimize on this part. But I guarantee you, this acquisition model works. It just takes time. So keep going. Let the revenue from existing users pay for acquiring new users until you hit at least 500 users this way. And finally, we're ready for the last stage. At stage three, we're gonna take our user base from a thousand users and aim at continuously growing it. This doesn't mean that stage two is now over. You should definitely keep the incoming acquisition model going and you should keep creating content. Stage three is a bit special because there are multiple directions you can take. You can aim to grow your SaaS as fast and big as you can, which requires reinvesting every dime into the next acquisition model we're gonna look at. Or you can choose to start taking some profit for your hard work and instead aim to automate acquisitions and have new users come in on autopilot. In both cases, there are two acquisition models that are perfectly suited for this stage. Let's design them. In the first one, we're going to use the advertisement method. This means that we're gonna take some of all the content that has proven to work well during stage two and turn them into paid ads that we can scale and use to reach a whole new level of awareness. Of course, this also includes crafting, testing and scaling new ad creatives and trying out new strategies. For the channels, I recommend Google Ads for search ads and video ads on YouTube, Meta for image ads and video ads on Facebook and Instagram, and TikTok for video ads on TikTok. Again, the cost of this acquisition model depends on the average revenue per user your SaaS is generating and how big of a return on ad spend you wish. If you're in growth mode, you might not care much about a return at all and instead just max out the revenue to pay for new acquisitions. If you want to build up a profit, you might aim for a three to one return on ad spend, which means that for each $1 you spend on acquiring a new user, that new user earns your SaaS $3. Then you put one of those dollars into acquiring yet a new user and you keep keep $1 as a profit. In the second acquisition model, we're once again going to use the referral method. But this time, we're not just gonna ask a handful of users to refer new users. We're going to offer an affiliate program where new users can sign up, create referral links, and start spreading the word. In order for it to work at this scale, you definitely need to offer your affiliate partners a proper compensation. I've seen some affiliate programs offer 10, 20, even a 50% share of all recurring revenue that new referrals generate. And once again, 
How much you're willing to offer your affiliate partners entirely depends on your direction. If you're in growth mode, you might want to share a big chunk of revenue to keep everyone highly motivated. And if you're in automation mode, you can go as low as gift cards or unlocking new features or increasing usage limitations for your affiliate partners. And obviously, this roadmap can take many forms. You can start by running ads from the very early stages and you can scale cold outreach in the later stages too. So this particular roadmap isn't the only one, but it is the one that I have used to build and scale three products. And it is the one that I would use again for my next SaaS. Now, this whole video obviously assumes that you already have a product. If you need to take a step even further back, I highly recommend watching this video next. If you got value from this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this. I will see you soon for another video.